Good day. Today I want to try and um, decipher question 9 of the October-November 2022 exam paper. It's very strange. I was trying to read through it and understand what they're looking for. It says here, for this question you have to type code in the text box provided. You cannot attach a file as answers. Do not use tab when entering your code. Rather use spaces to indent. Use separate compilation to declare a class person as an ADT. Remember to include the necessary directives. Then it says the class voter has three member variables. ID, which is a string, number times voted, which is an integer value, and voted, a Boolean variable to confirm that a voter has voted. Provide only the class declaration interface for the class voter. The class voter has the following member functions, a default constructor, a destructor, a mutator for the member variable voted, an accessor for the member variable number of times voted, a member function increment that increments the number of times a voter has voted, an overloaded stream insertion operator for the class voter. And then all of a sudden it jumps into um, some code showing a person's class um, and then a voter's class. So I'm not going to follow this example at the bottom because uh, I don't understand why it's even here. Mm, but yeah, uh, I'm going to create this voter class. So I've gone and created a project. I went and said file new and I said project. I said a console application. I went to go clicked on next it chose the C++ one and then I created this folder question 9 and I just called it a voter person thing okay so this is my main CPP which uh, is the default built-in one so now what I want to do is I want to um, create a new class so I'm going to go file new class and the class name that I want to use is voter because that's what most of the question seems to be running in I'm going to take off all these getters and uh, that. I'm happy with the destructor because it told me it does have. I'm happy with everything else. Click on create. I want it to add to my project. And I'm now able to see. There's my voter header file. Okay. Over here. And then this is my main implementation file over here. All right. So, um, you can see here, they said that we've got three um, member variables. And so, I'm going to take out this protected because we don't have anything protected. We only have private. So, the first one is string of ID. The second one is this number times voted. And that's uh, an integer value. So, I'm just going to put that uh, int and then that okay and then the last one was voted which is a boolean so we're just going to create bool and we're going to say voted so i'll use that all right so this is naturally our default constructor and this is our default destructor so we've already taken care of those two the next one says a mutator a mutator for the member variable voted okay and then an accessor for the member variable number times voted and a member function increment um, and an overload stream insertion operation for the class voter okay all right so i'm going to do the same thing as what they've got here and i'm just going to call this a mutator okay and end it like that and my mutator is going to be um, void and set voted okay um, my next one is the accessor the accessor function uh, accessor function okay and that is for this uh, number times voted hey huh? okay so this is going to be um, int and get 
I'm gonna say number times voted. All right, and because it's a get, we're going to set it as a const. Okay. And the next one is going to be our uh, member, our member function. Okay, and this one is going to be a friend, and we want it on voter, and we're going to say the operator, operator of plus plus. Okay, and we're going to say voter. Uh, uh, v and so this is our incremental um, function and finally our um, overloaded stream insertion okay and that one is going to be another friend and we're going to say our stream and we want to have an iStream operator. So that is that is the um, declaration or the definition uh, file for now. And we also, since we're using a lot of these things, we're going to need to add a, a lot of includes. So let's go to our include over here, and we're going to say include our IO stream. All right, uh, IO stream. Okay, then we also want to include, or just using namespace standard, using namespace standard. All right, that's all we're going to, the string, the string if I'm not mistaken needs that um, std lib. So we're gonna need to include that, um, include, and cstd lib all right yeah let's leave that so now i'm going to go to the actual implementation file so i want to just copy copy these and let's go to our voter okay let's go here so our default constructor, we've got those three values. So let's go back here. We've got ID, number times. So let's just try and get it sorted out. Uh, voters, okay. Um, ID equals zero. Um, number times voted. Oh, well, yeah, uh, it's a string, so we can't do that. Um, the number times voted. Let's go and do that. It's equal zero. And then our voted is false. Yeah. Voted equals false. Right, so nothing for our D structure. Then I'm going to just go back and I'm going to copy these other things. Um, so I'll just take the rest of them all out. Control C, Control V. Okay, I'm going to take that out. And do remember it's a function. So we're going to go like that. I'm going to go here. Um, take that part out. 
este olvide Spot run out. Let's run here. And you don't need the friend option. Um, take that out. Take that out. Okay. Uh, take that out. Take this out. Whoops. Stream. Okay. Make sure we take a semicolon out. All right, so we're setting up for this. So our set voted. Okay, so this will just be voted equals true. This one will just be a return of our um, number times voted. So we just go and copy this. Okay. And then our operator plus. This one will be plus plus V dot. And then we say number of times voted. Um, so let me see. There we go. Number of times voted. Okay. And then we say return, return V. Okay. Our last one is our in stream. So we got ins and we've got this and we say the voter. Yeah, like that dot RD. Okay. So you're feeding it the RD, um, then a space, and then the voter, the voter, and number of times voted. Okay, and then another space, and then we can go on to the next line. And we're going to say the voter. And the final variable is voted. Okay. We close that down. And basically, we, oh, uh, whoops, we are supposed to be doing ins and I'm doing outs. So let me change that. And let me change this and let's just get this one back uh, the voter voted yeah okay return ends all right and so that is the implementation file so i believe that covers our default constructor you can add it here if you if you like um, default constructor okay and our default destructor destructor this is our mutator function Mutator. This is our member accessor function. Member accessor function. And this one is our incrementer. Member function incrementer. And then finally, the last one is our input our overloaded overloaded stream insertion <coughs> okay thank you for watching this video i hope that it's been helpful and informative and all the best with cos 1512
Thank you and goodbye.